Hey everyone, what's up? So I want people to really understand just how utterly insane and ridiculous the left is. And you guys need to understand, like, it, these people are some pretty insane people. That's all I can really say. They're just so dumb. This will also prove to you that there is predictive programming. You know, now, this process should sound, uh, you should be uh, able to spot this procedure here. But let's say you have a franchise called Indiana Jones. And in this case, we're going we're gonna to call this Indiana Jones in the passage of time, okay? Does this sound familiar yet? Okay. This franchise, again, target audience has been mostly male, but also it is a family film. You understand? And, you know, Indiana Jones, he has saved the world a bunch of times. He's a very masculine figure. You know, uh, he's very smart. He's courageous and things like that. He's a little goofy. You know, he's a little scrappy. But at the end of the day, Indiana Jones, he gets the job done. You know, it's a very successful franchise. Uh, of course, Indiana Jones is aged, you know. But we're going to go ahead and, you know, talk about the last movie. And again, the title I'm giving it because I don't know it is Indiana Jones and the significance of the passage of time. And, you know, if you are a fan, I didn't see the movie, by the way especially when Disney took over a lot of content from Fox and everyone else, you know, uh, it, the results speak for themselves when it comes to their profits and things like that. If you guys pay attention to that type of stuff, but I could understand a longtime fan, a longtime patriot of the movie. You understand they're going into this movie thinking, you know, since it has Indiana Jones's name on it and it has, you know, that stamp of approval on it. You know, they're expecting to see an Indiana Jones film, guys. And they're hoping that at the very least, you know, they understand that he's old. They understand uh, you can't do much, you know, that they're at the ve very least going to honor the franchise, honor the fact that a bunch of fans made it so successful and it garnered a lot of money and success. You understand. Um they they figure they're at least going to honor this character or whatever else okay it's a very american character you yeah, know it's a character that's fought against the nazis and even against evil that plotted to destroy america the people are only then shocked to come to the realization that some inserted character that never was introduced in the other parts of the franchise is a woman so they do the classic bait and switch. Is any is this story sounding familiar yet, guys? Is it hitting you that these clowns do this in real life? You understand? Does that kind of disturb you? And some of you are still out here capping for Kamala? You're still capping for the left after all the nonsense, the destruction, and everything else that we've seen? You understand this female character is inserted in out of nowhere. Again, never introduced in the rest of the franchise. You come to find out that Indiana Jones' son, I guess, magically died, you know? Because you can't honor men in any way, by the way, in this system, especially with the Democratic Party. A man's never done nothing, according to them, and they're just the problem. It's not the women that are destroying this country today, by the way. It's not the women who are massively killing babies they still want you to focus on gun and gun violence and gun deaths which don't even compare it's not even in they pale in comparison when you uh compare it to abortions which again last year was the number one cause of death worldwide by the way and we're talking about world war ii numbers america what they report averages around a million destroyed babies every year okay but this female, the whole movie is about making men to feel guilt and shame for being so masculine and the toxicity of masculinity and how men are so stupid and they're weak and they only cause problems. And you have to honor this dumb, I don't know, female goddess at this point who can do no wrong, you know, even though they're a very narcissistic, dumb character who are only about themselves and, you know... 
they're just better at everything, you know, just for no reason at all. They're far smarter. They're more smarter than Indiana Jones has ever been. You know, uh, I guess they're more, I don't know, also better when it comes to combat and everything else. And uh, again, you come to find out that this is a character assassination on a very beloved character that was able to actually have a successful franchise. It's not a matter of, of course they do the character so wrong. Again, they have to destroy him and bring him to nothing, you know, and they don't even leave the person hope at the end of the movie. He's just got to accept that he, everything that he did, all that he saved the world, it was nothing. You know, he doesn't deserve credit for nothing. You now have to honor and give all your stuff to this woman. You know, is this story sounding kind of familiar for some of you? And it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when this thing fails. <laughs> you know, you want to basically take a shot at the fans of this franchise who have supported it with their money and they take their families to go see this you know this movement is also anti-family by the way guys they want you to kill your babies so again although it's targeting men and it's trying to put down men they still you know you would think that that then why don't you switch your target audience then why aren't women going to you know spend their dollars to support this product as well just like the economy today you know they want you to think that we're now better off because now there's more women employed you understand and there's more educated women than men today as well you know but they also have to implement systems such as esg that make sure you you know companies employ a certain number of women we see i'll give you another example here real quick we see companies like Ubisoft for a reason that are being destroyed right now and the video game industry and they follow these procedures while uh, a game company like Rockstar, for example, you look at the development team of Red Dead Redemption 2, you'll see that it's mainly all men, but you'll see that it's only around 30 men who worked on this project. And then you go and you compare that to Ubisoft's latest project that bombed and tank and you see it's a bunch of blue haired, pink haired, uh, you know, purple haired, you know, leftists. And these products are just bombing. They're not selling this company. Basically, it's just doing anything it can to stay afloat at this point. You know, is any of this transferring to any of you? You understand one game was a success, although it did have its controversy, everything else. That's Red Dead Redemption 2. This other company, their stuff is just losing money. You understand? But it's, again, it's not a matter of when, if, it's a matter of when this stuff fails, guys. And what they decide to do is they like to shame the people that they're trying to berate and take shots at and tell are stupid and dumb and, you know, you're not as good as women and everything else they're surprised when men don't go out there and spend their money to support these projects and again this has been the process for so many franchises at this point in so many movies whether it's star wars whether it's i don't know marvel movies whether it's uh i don't know uh bad max you understand you put the man's name in the title a Mad Max saga, but then it's a bait and switch. Here's our female Mad Max. It's called Furiosa. And again, this person has a robot arm, so she's more cool, but she's a woman. And that's what ultimately makes her better. But it bombs, and again, what do they do? They're gonna talk crap to the target audience, which is male. Males built the franchise. Males kept the franchise successful, you know what I'm saying? And you're gonna go, you're gonna berate them, you're gonna guilt and shame them. Now, it's funny seeing Barack Obama come out here to a group of black men. And again, he has to guilt and shame black men and call them misogynists because this is the same thing they do with these movie franchises. And again, a lot of you need to understand how does the left have the nerve to do this crap when it comes to the United States of America? The character that we have in this bait and switch story that is happening in real time in real life, guys. Because this is how insane the left is again. And I don't understand how any of you can even begin to cap and support this cause. 
this character has about 14 accents you know she is whatever she needs to be in the moment you understand if she's against fracking you know one moment again she's for fracking uh if she hates israel one day you know now she's a little bit for israel just you know just whatever's going to secure the vote she's bad at acting she's terrible at performing her job you understand it's all about emotions and vibes you know we always got to see this loving character that cares so much about people you know but we all know that she's unqualified and plus her record is atrocious notice how these people they can never build an original ip for a franchise that maybe tries to highlight a woman you know I, they always have to take over what a man's built and what a man's made successful and they got to go and destroy that and then scold you for it when they start destroying what was established by a man and actually was successful the in this case, this is uh, the United States of America, and they're doing this in real time, guys. The strong, independent woman, she can't stand on her own, so now they're sending two of their, you know, high-level Grand Wizard warlocks. Bill Clinton here pretty soon, uh, but we just all saw what Barack Obama did, you know. This is another thing people aren't reporting on this. He couldn't say you don't want to support a black woman to these black men. Why couldn't you say black woman, Barack Obama, Mr. Silver, Silver Tongue Serpent? You got to pay attention to how these people talk. They're very calculated, very formulaic in their approach. You understand? Just like their movies, you know. They want you to, I don't know, feel emotions and vibes off nostalgia. And again, they're trying to model this clown, Kamala Harris, who is nothing but a bad actress, by the way. Accents and everything else. Yeah, she just can't deliver the lines good and uh, she's just not really good you know maybe she has to drink or something to calm her nerves I don't know guys you tell me there's no way any of you can sit here defend her record and tell me that she's going to save this country that's just not the truth uh, if you believe that you are clearly a clown but they always have to hit you with the nostalgia as well and they want people to believe that this is basically the female obama and she even tries to talk like him sometimes and use the same slogans and everything else it's just not working it's having the opposite effect and as we've seen the united states of america this whole infeminate movement has really done a number on this country not only just these companies like disney you know, uh, some of these video game companies like Ubisoft, Amheiser Bush took a big hit when you tried to push this nonsensical ideology as well. You know what I'm saying? But it's really done a number to the United States of America and it's doing a number to the world that is basically becoming more chaotic by the day. We just saw that Russia met with uh, Iran guys. You understand? Um, I... I, that deserves its own separate video when we talk about world matters. But again, I just don't understand how any of you, especially men, can justify this. You understand? Why are you doing in real life with what you do with the movies? That should really sink in with some of you. And again, it just shows how fake and formulaic these clowns are. And how just, they're NPCs, guys. They're not human beings. These people are literally... Uh, <laughs> algorithms uh i don't even know how to explain these empty vacuous beings such as kamala harris guys these people do they're anti-life they're anti-family they're of course are anti-men the democratic party is not the party for men but it's also not the party for family it's not the party for the america it's a party for immigrants it's a party that is anti-life you understand anti-reason anti-truth anti-logic it's a death cult, guys. You understand? It's just here to destroy. That's its only goal. I just wanted to come out with this video. I'm going to leave it there. Um, you've seen this movie played out plenty of times. You know the ending. You know, I don't know why you would vote for it again. I don't know why you would want a sequel. I really don't. Because Orange Man is bad and he's racist. I, I just, I don't see the reasoning here, guys. You see what's how your pocketbook is affected. Uh, some of you, you have families, you have children, you see how it is when you have to buy food and everything else, you understand? You see how it is when you gotta put gas in your car? I, I just, again, I don't get the logic. You like, you, you like this nonsense, okay? You like failure, okay? You like death, you know? You're afraid uh, 
What do they say? Donald Trump's going to take your rights away to you kill your babies. Is that what they're telling us today? He's going to ban your ability to kill babies. Okay. Okay. I, I don't know what reality you guys live in. But I don't know. A lot of people are waking up. This is why they are panicking right now. But I really just want that to set in. Uh, we've seen this predictive programming. They're trying to do it here right now in real time, in reality, which is insane to me. This, you know, this is the United States of America was the most successful country. Our dollar is the reserve world currency for reason. You understand if you vote Kamala, you're going to destroy this country. It's just as simple as that. If you vote Kamala, if you want to see what's going to happen here, it's not going to be an opportunity economy. It's going to be uh, equal outcomes. You understand? And quite frankly, you might, you're might you already seeing in a lot of places that Americans are second-rate citizens. So it might not even be equal outcomes, maybe for uh, uh, Native Americans, you understand, so that they can usher in the new immigrants and call them world citizens or whatever else. But if you look at other countries, what's going on there, you're, you, you have a glimpse, like Canada, you understand? You have a glimpse of what's going to happen here. You understand, there's a reason why someone like Kamala wants to mandate um, electric vehicles. Uh, you see what they do in China when people act up, they turn off their cars. You know what I'm saying? Uh, there's a reason why they tanked this economy. It was intentional, just like they intentionally opened the border. You understand, they want to get rid of the dollar just like they want to get rid of the United States. They want to usher in the digital banking currency, guys, because they'll have outright control. Again, when a guy like me comes out here, talks crap about the government and tells you how bad Kamali is, the digital banking system, they can just shut off. This is what they do in China, just like they shut off the cars as well. You understand? They make it where you can't get on the bus as well. They just, this is the totalitarian fun faction you know, the people that are telling you Trump's going to be the dictator, they are the fascist guys in this story. Uh, I just don't know what to tell you guys. They are the true racists. They're the people who want us divided and segregated up. It's always about identity politics and race politics with these people, guys. You need to start waking up and smelling the roses, dude. You know, because when you're dead, you're not going to be able to smell, smell those roses in your, cough, in your grave if they even give coffins out today, you know might be too expensive you know you, they might they might just burn you or whatever else in the future we don't know how this thing's gonna be guys but uh i hope this kind of provokes some thinking for some of you and gives some of you some common sense all right i don't know what you're supporting if you're supporting the democrats the democrats and kamala harris and what these clowns are doing to this country and what they're allowing to happen in the world i will talk to you later bye